so last time we talked, I was actually right back here in Wisconsin and I took y'all in a very boring day <laughs> where I was super excited. I ended up catching two like baby walleye and it's funny because the day after, uh, we, we went out for a video with Drew on his channel and I ended up catching not only my first smallmouth but my biggest smallmouth. It was five and a half pounds. Check out this freaking awesome picture. Bam! Anyway, we are back here in Wisconsin one more time. The weather is absolutely phenomenal. Leggings weather right now, oh my gosh, bluebird skies. I don't know how good it is for fishing, probably not very good. Drew always says bluebird skies aren't very good for bass fishing, but it is amazing weather. Um, we are about a week away from the start of the tournament and we are here at Bart's house. You've probably seen him in a lot of Drew's video. He was nice enough to let us keep Drew's camper and his boat here so we didn't have to drive all the way back. We actually just flew back while the boys are practicing and talking about the tournament. I am going to go fish it. <laughs> I realize that my channel has become more of like a vlog type thing and you guys see me fishing a lot and not really catching a lot so hopefully <laughs> we can start this video out with some catching. <laughs> Kirsch is living her best life out here. I don't think she's ever seen this much grass. See if we can catch some fish. Drew actually caught a really freaking nice crappie yesterday while we were out here. I caught a tiny little bass. Coffee gone. Mmm. Let's catch some fish. Ooh, so my glasses are nowhere to be found at the moment. Which is okay. I'm gonna show you guys the color of this water. It's so different <laughs> like aquamarine green so pretty there's one Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a large mouth. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh wait, it might be a small mouth. Oh my gosh, right where he's supposed to be on that grass. Come on, buddy, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can't see what he is yet. It's a smallie, it's a smallie. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, there's nothing like seeing him fight. Holy cow. That's a nice one. Get him, Hirsch, get him. Oh, holy cow. He's, he's got like a hump right here. It's interesting. Okay, I'll say it doesn't really get better than this, y'all. Wanted to catch a fish, caught a freaking nice one. Oh my gosh. See if we can catch a largemouth now. See if we can catch a crappie. Hirsch is freaking out. Hirsch. Mm, thanks, buddy. For today, specifically, where he started organizing his boat yesterday, and this is what happened. <laughs> Retie this really quick and then I'd like to try something else. See if I get him to bite something else, maybe a buzz bait or something. Shoot, I need to find more lunker logs. I'm not going to say that I've probably been out here fishing for about an hour and a half now <laughs> and I literally caught, I've just caught that one fish that I caught in like the first 10 minutes so maybe it's just one of those days. <laughs> Dang it! I'm over here, oh yeah, I'm going to give you all a cool fishing video. Catches one fish, at least that was a nice one. Well, 
sorry I suck. <laughs> Too beautiful of a day to not be out here doing something. So I'm glad I at least got to start off this video by catching that cool fish in front of y'all to see what else Wisconsin has to offer us besides cheese curds, which by the way, if you haven't tried them, are unbelievably good. We had two really awesome folks from Nasonville um, Cheese Company come over yesterday and they delivered 20 pounds of cheese crits for us. <sighs> Looks like there was not a lot more to Wisconsin than cheese curds and beer, which we indulged in, don't get me wrong, but we actually did end up leaving a day earlier than we had planned, and we drove about 10 hours to beautiful Grove, Oklahoma. Our initial plan was to go straight to Texas, but because we left a day early, we figured we had enough time to make a pit stop, and so put the camper down. I don't know if y'all can see it from here. We are staying literally right on the water. I apologize for how wobbly or shaky, whatever you want to call it, the, the footage from the beginning of this video was. I didn't realize. I'm sorry. I, that's like, that annoyed me when I was watching it, when I was editing it. So I can only imagine, you know, watching it from y'all's perspective. I'm sorry. I did buy a stabilizing little thing that you guys recommended that I buy on Amazon. I did buy it. It's the actual remembering to bring it on these trips that I'm struggling with. <laughs> Anyways, we are going catching today, y'all. I know, I know, I say this all the time and everybody's just like, oh, how cute, just trying to stay positive. No, today we are going out in this lake and I'm going to catch fish. Drew, I don't know, I, I can't speak for him, but I'm gonna catch fish today. I'll let you know, I'm about to put on one of the sketchiest ramps I've ever seen. <laughs> Need some help doing something? No, 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 I'm good. You just stay there looking pretty. It's done. There he goes. We are in Grand Lake. We are out here with Chance, one of Drew's friends. I believe he's fished this when he was younger a lot. So. I am super excited. Drew thinks that I'm going to get super frustrated. That's the first thing he told me this morning. Uh, I think we're going to be doing a lot of flipping in precise spots, which uh, if y'all know, I am really good at just throwing my bait caster into like little tiny holes and under ducks. Super good at that. Jared, I got you. You can just put her on the... That's a good look. It's my Indian war paint. <laughs> Bill Chan. <laughs> He's having me use a spinning reel. I got this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put y'all out of your misery now. Um, I feel like I've been trying to end this video for like five days now. Uh, <laughs> I keep thinking, oh yeah, perfect. I'll just go fishing and not catch anything. Yeah, we caught zero fish that day, y'all. Zero, not one, nothing. The fact that I was able to wake up in the morning and actually get on the boat and go fishing though was a miracle. Uh, I don't think y'all understand how much I drank. I, especially after getting on this diet, I haven't really drank hard alcohol. I've only been drinking like seltzers like once in a while. Um, so I didn't realize my tolerance had gotten so low. All I can say is prepare to laugh your ass off. I will be posting that video probably in a couple days after this one goes live. Doing it for us. Drew wasn't catching anything, I wasn't catching anything, and we just decided to pack up the RV early and head back home. Oh, good job! Back to working out, back to the diet. Oh, that lighting is super harsh. New pants, y'all, you don't like these? Also, this is super random, but I thought I'd share it with y'all. I don't know if any of y'all have your son or your daughters, your nephews, your nieces birthday coming up and you want to do something super cute and memorable. This is one of the things that I had on the table for Avery's birthday and I thought it was really cute. It's one of those things that like I feel like they can't appreciate when they're really young but it, I mean you do it and you save it and then when they're older they're gonna be like wow. So it's a wish jar is essentially what it is and so uh, you literally just 
put a jar out. These things are, you can, you can buy them at the dollar store. I just kind of made it pretty and like printed some stuff out for it. And then you lay a bunch of little scrap piece of, pieces of paper in front of it and you have everybody write down a birthday wish uh, for the birthday girl or birthday boy and then you save those wishes and she can, she or he can read them when they're older and I'm just so excited. Everybody at the party that we had um, signed her like a really long little note and oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Some quick updates while we're back in Texas. I, I did finally schedule my state and my national state exam and I am so pumped to take it. It is September 13th. I also have my fingerprints that I have to go do next week. It's gonna be a super exciting month. September is gonna be huge. My mom's birthday, I'll hopefully be licensed by then. Drew's birthday and our one year anniversary is coming up. I. Honestly, I doesn't even feel like it's been half a year, let alone a whole year that I've been with him. I mean, it's that's time just freaking flies. Also, I know Drew is planning on giving you guys a whole tour of this beautiful baby. So I thought I'd give you guys a little like appetizer portion of what it looks like. He did get a new boat. Bam. No more Phoenix moved on to the bigger and badder Skeeter. Not really bigger, it's actually the same size, but give y'all guys a quick look. Oh my gosh. It still needs to be completely rigged out, including a badass wrap. So honestly, in like three weeks, it's probably gonna not even, it, you're not even gonna recognize it looking at it right now. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn the notifications on so you know when I post a video, and uh, yeah, see you guys next time.